A Plymouth Elementary School teacher is denying shocking allegations that he sexually assaulted more than a dozen students, even after they accused him of doing so. And Eyewitness News heard from his attorney last night. That is the newest information in this case. Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanne is live in the newsroom with that and how people in the community are reacting this morning. Good morning, Roger. Good morning. Well, as you can expect, a myriad of reactions. At last night's public meeting, Plymouth's Board of Education declined to comment, but former students say the allegations have sent shockwaves through the entire town and they won't really be able to heal until the upcoming court case is resolved. Police say James Eschert used his position of power as a third and fourth grade teacher to prey on young girls, his former students. Eschert was an educator for more than 20 years, most recently at Plymouth Center School, but 13 of his former students say he sexually assaulted them. According to the arrest warrant, one victim says Eschert would invite girls to sit on his lap. Another victim says he would call his classroom desk the cave and bump his hips up against her. In a statement, Eschert's attorney, William Conti, tells us his client denies allegations vigorously, planning on pleading not guilty. I would ask the public to be patient and wait for all the facts to come out. Eschert was suspended when the allegations surfaced and no longer worked for the district. Last night, the Board of Education declined to comment, but former students say Eschert betrayed the entire community. Everybody going to school, you think, oh, your teacher is somebody you can trust, and you can go to them in confidence with stuff, so it's just really crazy to me to see that this is happening. He's a coward, pretty much. Deal with your actions, and you were dumb enough to do it, to deal with the consequences. Now, Eschert is out on bond this morning, but will appear in court sometime next month. Now, he faces a very long list of charges, including sexual assault and a risk of injury. Roger Suzanne in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.